Okay, guys, I am so annoyed I wasn't recording for this. Uh, this is literally just a split second ago. I loaded up the world, turned around, Herobrine was right here! And left a sign right there in the drive through window stating you are not alone. Made that extremely clear. Uh, Percy, what are you doing wedged in that little corner there? Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Minecraft from the fog. Oh, that was absolutely heart attack inducing. Uh, I'll try and recreate the image in Photoshop, if you don't mind. Oh wait, actually, I don't have to. Uh, the creator of this mod, or one of them, Brett, uh, actually gave me a command I can use to spawn Herobrine for whatever reason. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, so if we open up the chat window, control V, there we go. Ah, now how do I, how do I get rid of you? Slash, ah, and we can see a whole bunch of them, <laughs> and we can even set animations. Okay, get out of here, bud. Uh, I, I promise not to play with this to fake events, but we're absolutely going to be playing with this to play with this. So we stand right here, create. All right, and if I run over here, avoiding all the- I love how I'm like the crazy conspiracy theorist, like, no, it was right here, I swear, I'll show you. As if I need to convince you, as if there hasn't been an entire series up until this point. I was here, and I turned around, and he was right there, although he appears to be looking at the floor. Uh, hang on, everybody, I gotta get the pose right. Maybe if I try- oh, look at them all playing behind the furniture. They really are like little kids. All right, we create you here, right, and you'll look in the direction that I'm facing. All right, this is a really, really cool tool. Thank you once again, Brett, for supporting the series the way you have. And for making this awesome mod, of course, as well as the rest of the team. All right, I was right here. I loaded the game up, was about to get ready on the sound test, turned around... And that's what I was instantly greeted by. Anyways, we spent a lot of the last part doing a lot of busy work on both clearing the ancient city and on building new Dunwich. Which, of course, is stuff I'm really, really interested in seeing through. However, after that whole episode, you guys would probably like a little bit of a break from that. So I'm gonna stop and work on a little bit of a vanity project for a while. But I'll want to wait until morning to get started. Well... I suppose I can work on digging out some of the infrastructure right now. How wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, which means that three should be a nice, even middle. Yeah, I've always thought that this has been such a perfect frame for such a long time that I'd be crazy not to eventually do something with this. Okay, something real weird is starting to happen when I mine these blocks. Uh, maybe it's a sign that I shouldn't be doing this, that what I'm trying to do is inhuman. Uh, but then again, I'm already transporting sl uh, involuntary workers to New Dunwich. Ooh. Isn't that so pretty? The way the sun rises over the ocean and reflects off of its waves? It looks so clear. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just turn around and be so impressed with the visuals with BSL. Oh, I'm so glad you guys pushed me to do this. I was really riding hard on the vanilla experience early on, but I feel like, you know, it's community input that gives this series longevity, and this is one of the ways where that's seen in action. I was actually going to say, this kind of looks pretty... Bear with me, almost in like a Lego Island kind of way. Or rather, in how I remember Lego Island looking. Which I suppose is appropriate, given that this is indeed Minecraft, a game that is essentially digital Lego. Now I'm just going to start stair tunneling upwards, just to try and figure out where we are relative to this house. Don't really have a precise way of... Oh, huh. We've tunneled into Justice's thing. Okay, well, I really don't want Justice escaping into the sea, so let's just close that off right there. 
Oh, this actually comes up outside. Hmm. Well, maybe it's time this place... Ooh, look at how many bees there are. Oh, maybe we should start thinking about building more hives. It seems like they'll reproduce on their own. Let's just grab more from you. I would like to get a lot of candles everywhere. Even if they don't stay lit thanks to Herobrine, they are my brand, after all. There we are. Okay, let's just remove that. Oh, they're definitely going to want to come down here. Yep, how did I know? How did I know? Oh, please stay out for now. Oh. Alright, well, it is right here at the base. I guess you can stay for now. I'll have to replace some of this stuff later, though. I'm just going to go ahead and place a glass block right here in what would be the floor. Uh, I've accidentally caged myself and Percy. <laughs> I see you've got the same adventurous spirit as Liberty. Oh, she said she can't come down. Uh, I'll bring you down here later. No, believe me, you're going to like what I'm doing here. Hmm. This one comes out outside. This must be where it starts to cur- Oh, Liberty! Uh, well, I guess you're overdue to get some fresh air. The bees have all gone inside for now. Uh, will you come out here, please, Percy? Uh, for some reason, being out here with the Allays... Oh, there you are. It kind of reminds me of when my grandma used to take me out to the back garden to play. Oh, it is so sweet to see them like this. When did this show become a slice of life comedy? Alright, last one inside's a rotten egg. Oh, it is so cute to see two of them come rushing through after me. All right, so what do we got from this top level here? Uh, we can indeed see down here. Yeah, it's getting to the point where pretty much every time I come here, I find this door open. And I can never quite tell if it's down to forgetfulness on my part. Although I never do seem to forget with other doors. Or if it doesn't somehow think that this is my house. Which I suppose isn't the worst thing. Percy, I thought I... Did I not close the doggy door or something? How did you get over here? Wait, whoa, 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 wait. No, the door is closed. Liberty is stuck. How did you get out, Percy? Did you maybe, like, slip out behind me or something? I don't understand how you manage this. Percy, what are you doing perched up there? That was... very weird. It was... Yeah, I knew it! Oh, that's what that is! You, you, you're you reacting to them now! You saw Herobrine over there! And you were just standing still like a dog in attack mode. We gotta get you inside. I turned my back for two seconds and you're gone. Ugh. Get in here. All right, I've been working for a little while now. And if we come through here, sail down this little canal that I've dug, come over here with our boat, park right directly here. Some of you might already see where I'm going with this. Boop. That allows us to crawl right up into here. Oh yeah, it's coming together. All right, now the following endeavor is inspired by seeing somebody do something similar on the Discord. Where are you? Okay, will you respond to the NPC urge to get in a boat? You will. <laughs> okay, nope, we have to make our daring escape. Run, run, run. Oh, wait, is that you shooting at me? Well, you can't seem to hit me, so <laughs> this is going to be a real long ride. You settle down back there, kids, or I will turn this boat around. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. You know, if it weren't for the constant threat of violence, this would actually be somewhat romantic. Seriously though, man, you're gonna love it at our house. We've got all kinds of friendly pets. Look, we've even got a lighthouse, a throne room, and all the exotic materials you could line your floor with. Uh, you won't be seeing any of that, of course. You'll be spending all your time in the dungeon in the basement. But look, there will be a glass window right above your head that we can gawk at you from. 
Now all we need to do is grow some vines down over the entrance and we'll be right as rain. All right, so these are your accommodations. Don't worry, it's not gonna stay like this. We'll be removing the torch. And let's just line ourselves up. Oh, and please try not to get these things everywhere. Up here, and in we go. Let's just get you over here so that we'll be able to pick up the boat when it drops. Get on out. Uh, push you inward. Ow, you can actually hit me from there. All right, this relationship is just not working out. Oh, wait, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, you need air to breathe, huh? Yeah, I have so many enchantments, you can't really hurt me. So, you know, I can hurt you, though. Come on. Boop. And there we are. Ah, uh, how does it feel? Liberty, Percy? <laughs> this is my pet gift to you. While we're at it, I suppose we could get you a cellmate. Although, maybe we'll reserve this cell for something besides another pillager. I'll leave that up to you guys. What should we use the additional cell for? Oh, but I can't wait to get upstairs and see what this looks like from above. Uh, <laughs> you must be so excited to see how the turns have tabled. Only makes sense then, only seems fitting that this cell should be located right directly behind your throne. Uh, which, by the way, we should actually probably extend this throne. There are two of you now, after all. Although you will fit in the same seat. Oh, <laughs> look. Liberty's down there staring at them, taunting them. Beautiful sight. Great payback. Anyway, the throne is now two-sided. We may make some upgrades to it in the future. But I am happy with that for now. In the meantime, that was a fun little distraction, but I think I really should get back to completing some of the other projects we started in the last part. I just feel like I don't spend enough time with the kids these days. Oh, right, and I uh, just want to make sure we see justice. There you are. Oh yeah, big kiss. Darwin, I really can't thank you enough for watching them, especially on such short notice. And maybe one of these days I'll bring you back to where you came from. Bring the kids, too. Bring the whole family on a trip. Uh, hearing his screams of agony intermixed with the ghastly gigglings of the allays is just beautiful. I said ghastly by accident just because it seemed appropriate, but now that I listen back to it, it really seems appropriate. At least from his point of view. Uh, before I go, though, there's actually something that has been suggested on the Discord for a while, and it's something that has appeared in a ton of fan art, and I can't not do it at least once. Uh, Liberty, you've been here the longest, so I think it should be you. How would you like to... hang on. Bloop. Where'd you go? How would you like to <laughs> carry justice? Oh, that is so cute. Liberty, you're carrying your little baby brother? <laughs> I'm having way too much fun in this part just playing with these little guys. All right, uh, what about you, Patience? I mean, not Patience. Uh, do you want to turn, Percy? Here, let's take that, give you back your lantern. I never want to take away the object from both of them at a time because I'll never tell them apart again. And it feels wrong to name tag them. Oops. Here you go. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Oop. <laughs> Dip right back in the water. Okay, that jump scared me. I forgot that these were even here or that they did that. <laughs> Purse is like, oh geez, I didn't know that either. I think she got here after they were put in. All right, I'll take you back. Let Justice get back in there. There we go. And in the morning, I'll head out. Uh, <laughs> you lost, little buddy? Go on. There you go. All right, let's take you for a spin for a little bit. You've been kind of neglected. Someday in the near future, we'll go on an overland adventure to see what's out there. But first, I figure we should bring you around the drive-thru to see what everybody's up to. You might not have actually even seen them yourself before. 
Oh, you're getting spooked, huh? Maybe by the pillager that's downstairs? Oh, look! They're coming to see him! That is so... Ugh, I love this so much. Having a bath with justice? The gang's all here. Howdy, Darwin. I don't know if we can really see you from the back. Uh, all huddled over here, eh? Hiding from the pigmen. Yeah, I think we are going to have to level that surface out even more. Or heck, maybe I could even just set fire to that whole hillside. That might be more cost effective and it would be sort of like a faux sunlight. Let's try that. I realized I can actually leap from vine to vine like Tarzan to get up and over the walls without destroying things. I've been too lazy to put in some iron doors thus far. But if we just clear out the locals, we should be able to light this thing. Okay, so if we light this stuff, it's my understanding that it will actually never go out. Now, the sound's going to be real annoying, but hey, it'll be pretty and it'll keep the pigs away. Also, I've just realized we could probably use some of these blue warped fungus in order to keep them away from whatever door we build. The Pumbas, I mean. Oh wait, no. Some of you are starting to go out. The ones on the soil might go away after a time. Okay, and these flint and steels do not last long at all, so that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. Alright, this idea is back to the drawing board. Alright, let's see if this actually works finally. You guys are angry. I place this right, say, about here. Oh, it needs to be in soil, right? Yep. There we go. And that is enough for here. Not that it matters for this spot in particular, because we are going to be expanding New Dunwich to include this area. After all, we want to get our bridge going all the way down there so that we can access the ancient city quickly and easily. We are also going to have to buy a new diamond pick very soon, which is no bother. We do have enough emeralds for that. But let's just use it up on this project and then get right back to it. This block will remain for now, just to keep the enemies at bay. It actually might be good to keep a couple samples of nether soil inside if we can ever get a silk touch pick. Uh, just to keep these things at bay if they ever do manage to get over the walls. Now you stand out here, but I'm carrying all blue now, so I still sometimes miss you. I mean that in a literal sense, not in a I miss seeing you sense. Certainly don't miss seeing you. This grass appears to be spreading nicely. I think maybe we'll tear some of these things up and move them around so that it spreads more nicely over here. Of course, the glow from the houses themselves will help as well. Why do you guys not close the doors when you go to sleep? Once the new expansion is in, we'll start talking jobs. Okay, I'm going to take these pants off. Uh, because I keep forgetting that I actually have Swift Sneak. Uh, which makes it really hard to tell when I'm crouching, which keeps leading me to falling off these walls. And falling right here might be disastrous. Hi, how are you guys doing this? I would really like to know that. Don't kill my villagers either, please. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure I've seen you attack them. I think you actually have no precedent for how to react to villagers. But let's start officially unveiling the new section. <laughs> oh, you have no power here. Yeah, New Dunwich is looking bigger and bigger by the day. We have actually carved out a pretty impressive piece of the nether for ourselves. Only thing I can think of for how those pigmen are getting in is dropping down from above. I really... I, I keep saying it and I keep putting it off, but I really need to expedite the sky shield. I do think they're just falling. Let's just place these around so that more grass may grow. Now, at the time of this recording, the previous episode went up, like, not even an hour ago. So, I'm gonna be... I mean, I usually record these things in multiple sessions these days because it takes so long to get through them. So, I'm gonna be going through sporadically and checking out your comments to see if there's any ideas for things I should do. 
one thing I've been advised on is the fact that villagers need to, well, they need two things in order to produce new villagers. They need enough beds to house those villagers, enough houses for them to live in, and their inventory needs to be full of food. I don't know if the same villagers have a cooldown on that, but that's got to be the next thing, is new real estate. I'm also trying to knock down a lot of these things where I can, but I'm pretty sure unless you get them at the root, they do just kind of keep growing down and down, so it is, yeah, I, I just watched it happen. So at a certain point, I'm going to have to stand up there and just start landscaping. It's all the annoying busy work that I feel like, you know, it's necessary to do cool stuff, but it's so tedious. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, that's a thing you can do. Uh, you get out, and I will just build that a little bit higher now. Okay, no, 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 you guys. Uh, you're just taking every opportunity to screw yourselves over in true villager fashion. No, nope, get down from here. I need you to get down from here, but not in a fashion that's dangerous to you. Thank you. Ah, but you'll do so in a fashion that's dangerous to me, of course. I swear, babysitting these villagers is like those old cartoons where a character is placed in charge of some baby or toddler, and they just keep putting themselves in harm's way in the most, like, insane way possible. And they always save them at the last second, just in time to be injured by the thing that was about to injure the baby. Oof. Uh, guys? Oh, it was, it was an optical illusion. Oh, man. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ghost is just starting to play with my fears. Making me feel that I'm going to tunnel through the earth and be sent plunging into the abyss below. It wouldn't be the first time it's happened to me. Window one, window two, and bed. Of course, we have to remember not to sleep in it so we don't explode. And it's bedtime, so I guess we'll try for more villagers in the morning. Let's just grab some wool from you guys while we're at it. That stuff is a lot more valuable than it used to be, both for exploring the ancient city and for creating new beds for a new Dunwich. We haven't been back to Innsmouth in a while, but I do want to return to that uh, toolsmith that I ho so helpfully stalked before. I'm in need of some new gear. Okay, so interesting to note, creepers are not set off by villagers. They're an enemy exclusively hostile to me. Save your life! Yeah, maybe I should get that Hero of the Village discount? No? There you are. I have need of your wares. Thank you, I'll take that. And back to our regularly scheduled construction. It's so funny that now that I'm walking through the nether, these things are all just, like, around. Like, they really do spread themselves far and wide. It's hilarious how much of an impact I'm having on my environment throughout this Let's Play. It really is all about just taking things and transporting them where they shouldn't be. Unlike the British Empire. Alright, will you guys perhaps be interested in trying for another baby? Come on, all the breads you can eat. Here you go. I don't know how many each of you need to have. I got like 20 of them here. Okay, there we go. This is actually extraordinarily disturbing if you think about it, but this is Minecraft and we're not going to think about it. It's a funny little game with pixel graphics and rolling green hills. Not on my me. Is there... Oh. Huh. Uh, <laughs> you are very noticeably pregnant. Okay, there we go. Alright, and the population climbs to four. It's like playing a much more annoying version of Banished. Alright, I think we've messed around enough with these guys for now. I need to start constructing my bridge down to the ancient city, as well as construct some actual, well, proper ways in and out the front door. For example, I could use a front door. Let's quickly place this down so the villagers don't become tempted. And <laughs> that was a sneaky one. Kind of like a don't let the door hit you on the way out type of move. But there is our portal, and we will begin constructing our staircase post haste. Oh, 
Oh, good god! Oh, good golly gee, that's a lot of them. Okay, uh, retreat, retreat, retreat. Retreat! I said retreat faster! Up here, up here, go, 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 go. And in we go. Good to have a port in the storm that is New Dunwich. And some of you said we should rename the city, uh, after that impronounceable, uh, Lovecraft city. Oh, sorry, my heart's still going a mile a minute. Anyway, we're going to take another one of these things and place it right near the nether portal, if those guys are gone. Just to keep us from getting ambushed right the second we come through. But where is that war party? That'll do nothing for them. I was not aware that that could be a thing. And just as quickly as they arrived, they're gone. There's actually a bunch of these all around here. So maybe we've got nothing to worry about? Well, either way, they... Oh, actually, they might have all gone through the portal by accident. All right, let's be ready. Huh. Seems they did. We're bringing all kinds of undead life back to this place. Unintentionally, but... Well, let's be real, that has been kind of our M.O. for this entire Let's Play. Wow, this is creepy, knowing these things from another world are just milling about down here, and they're not even the worst thing. They didn't even choose to be here. That was kind of weird. I wasn't even going to show that because you were glitching out, but the way your eyes went black at the moment I touched you... I thought it might trigger like a jump scare or something, but no. Well, I guess I got the last laugh on these guys in the end. They were doomed to eternal torment, and that's saying something considering where they came from. I'm now starting my second record session of the day, and some of you have offered advice on how to render certain areas of the nether safe for villagers. One of the ideas is something I hadn't noticed, which is that the piglins are actually afraid of zombie piglins, which makes sense. But they're also afraid, more practically, of soul fire. They seem to be afraid of anything blue, which, well, now that I think about it, so am I. Let's just go one right there. And do you, and do you. Uh, something's gonna run in while I'm doing this. And, uh, you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're trapped. Oh, that just means you're free, Ham! Let's do some science. I wonder if they'll be affected by the blue torches as well. Uh, you will not be. You, it might just be mushrooms. Okay, so you're afraid of the zombie pigmen. You're not afraid of the soul torches. Uh, that's actually... Man, I just never noticed that before. It's not the kind of thing I would have been paying attention to, and of course they're not usually all together like this. The way you just turn to face me... <laughs> It's at this point that I'm realizing I usually don't even have a reaction in the moment anymore. I'm just kind of in a stunned silence when you catch me off guard. I'm starting to think it's just because I don't expect the unexpected anymore. Okay, uh, if we do... You're gonna hit me, but we go like that. Alright, come over here. No, you are actually not afraid of soul fire. Okay, people lied to me. Put another one of these right here. I don't know how well that works vertically. Uh, hello? Prisoner? Oh, that's stupid. They despawn? Ah, uh, well, we're obviously gonna have one. I'm just gonna keep them in the boat next time. Yep, can't do anything to me now. Some of you guys had the idea that we should actually start putting signs on the nether portal to each village. And I think that's a pretty good idea that we can do pretty quickly. There we go. 
And there we go. Now to do the others. Dunnitch. Arkham. And finally, the ancient city. Uh, which I'm thinking. Come on. Get over there. Get over there. No, nope. okay. Dying's fine too. We should have just sent a couple more that way. A couple more slaves to populate my new home. Uh. Hello, B. What are you trying to pollinate out here? The kelp? I don't think it works that way, CB. Yeah, you're drowning yourself because you're a bee. Ah, oh, bee that wants to be a fish. What a sad story. Alright, well, we're definitely going to be grabbing another one of these guys. I can't have an empty dungeon. It's just bad for my image, you know? So let's pull up over here, grab the boat, because we're going to need that boat. Now, where are you? Uh, it's always so spooky walking around these ruins, knowing that there used to be a ton of them here. But they don't really seem to spawn as densely anymore. They can still usually be found around, but you gotta look for them. They seem to have mostly dispersed off into the woods. Oh, look, it's Liberty's old cage. Well, I suppose a little bit of extra burning wouldn't hurt. Guess I'll also accept this wool since I'm in the market for it now. Huh, who knew this place would still find a way to pay itself off? Yeah, I just can't seem to find any more. I might actually have to put this out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it to spread this far. Uh. Yeah, there's a, pro <laughs> this is a problem. Nope, of course he's choosing now to show up. They saw they saw their base burning and were like, what is that over there? Alright, uh, maybe I can get ahead of this. That's you gone. Oh, sorry that you weren't fire, you were a bee. Ow! The forest is reacting really poorly to me just because I set it on fire. Oh, another one of you? Hang on, wait, I'll be right with you just after I take care of this. Just on the chance, you know, that it could spread over to where I live. All oh, right, my house can't burn down. What do I care? All right, the crisis has seemingly been averted. And I guess we're good? Well, we confirmed that they do at least still spawn here. Just going to keep an eye on this one, and then we'll start looking for more, I suppose. This whole area up in flames. Just how Liberty would have wanted it. There you are. Yeah, your spawn frequency certainly seems to have decreased. I wonder if it registers like a certain level of destruction to the base. There you go. Nope, come on. I want the boat. I have to take this out of my offhand probably. Boop. Ha ha. Now there's nothing you can do. Uber's a great way to make some extra money, but honestly, some of the riders just make it not worth it. Bird. To here, maybe we should have more than one sticky piston to make this a little bit easier. Oop. <laughs> I will never not love this. Yeah, let's just mine our way straight through. Oh, this is so funny. You know, I actually kind of wish I could keep you and use you as like an arrow farm. Uh, don't worry, we'll find you a silly eventually. I'm assuming that if you're in the boat, you won't despawn. Assuming. Yeah, I've only just realized I didn't have BSL enabled. In fact, I was using the wrong version. I was using this version, uh, but without Optifine. Oops. Yeah, we'll need to actually get ourselves some trapdoors for this, but that'll be later on. In the meantime... Well, you two enjoy your new trophy. <laughs> Percy was checking them out, too. Alright, Patience, you're living up to your name. And I kind of feel like we could use you to do a little bit more exploring. Maybe in an overland direction we haven't really tried much. Yeah, unfortunately what makes it kind of difficult is that horses are tall and the land is mountainous. So we're constantly either getting stuck under trees or unable to jump up. 
and they can't swim through water. So it's very, very limited use in this terrain. Those look like mushrooms. I believe I've been here before. Uh, I'm gonna have to start building you bridges, aren't I? Seems like it's getting fairly late in the day already. Oh, we found some foxes. So I'm pretty sure this is fairly close to Dunwich, which means we should probably start heading in that direction if we want to have somewhere to sleep tonight. Well, I guess we'll find out what these snowy biomes are like for a horse. Nope. Resist the temptation to sleep in a cave. I do have some posts on me so that we can hitch up patients, but I really don't want to stop somewhere where there could be danger. No, this might actually be the perfect place for you. If you're able to run over ice, yeah, you're just a little slower. Yeah, Snowy Biome is actually not the worst place. The land is flat, the water is frozen. Got some nice lava pools to warm ourselves by. I think this might just be the place for you. I have to say, it is pretty calming running over this landscape. Nothing can catch us in the pale moonlight. There's actually... A real sense of serenity to this. I can feel the cool air, which is good, because it's always like 80 plus degrees in my room. Wait. Do you see that? Are you here as well? This time in an actual identifiable structure. Whoa, that's a polar bear and a cub. I've never seen one of these before. I didn't know these were in the game. Okay, definitely, definitely a new place, <laughs> which is actually kind of refreshing given the amount of time we've spent in the blistering hot of the nether. The question is, how are we gonna get over here? Uh, how many how many ghost stories start like this? Weary traveler spots a light in the distance. A seemingly abandoned old house in the countryside? Surely it couldn't hurt to warm our feet by the fire. Let's drop down. Yeah, just doing some horse acrobatics. Don't mind me. Uh, kind of a... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Uh, patience, you alright? Oh, that was really bad. That was really bad and also really stupid. Okay, um, let's hitch you up right here. I understand why you don't want to stay, but you kind of have to. Nothing should hurt you so long as... So long as we're careful. Alright, let's make ourselves a crafting bench. I guess this can be our port in the storm for now. And a door. Uh, maybe we even get you in here with us somehow. Oh, there was already a... Hmm. Well, let's sleep for the night. Huh. Look at the way that glow comes in through the stained glass in the window. Or is that stained glass or is that ice? Maybe redstone torches don't actually melt ice. Maybe that's why it's like this, but... Oh, this is such a weird place. Just perched up on the hill like this? All right, give me that. We're going. I'm sorry I had to leave you out here tonight. And it looks like you've gained a little bit of health back from grazing. But we really should be getting a move on. It's a good thing you have this diamond armor. Of course, this sits atop a massive canyon. I kind of think that what we should be doing is trying to climb this mountain so that we can maybe uh, see if there's more of these structures over here. It's very strange to find a house just abandoned like this. Now, of course, I've seen the practical use of having a redstone torch, but seeing a lone, empty structure just out there with a redstone torch, I couldn't help but think 
Maybe Herobrine lives on that hillside, but I'll tell you what. He's not the only one living out here. Greetings. I am but a simple traveler from the mountains. Wondering if I could warm myself by your cozy fires. And also maybe if you wouldn't like to do some work for me. Oh, wow, look at this place. Children bouncing on beds, wood structures, but also <laughs> igloos, it seems. Hang on, let's find a place to leave patience while we have a look around. Hit you up right here, that looks good. Ooh, it seems like the lanterns are actually melting some of the snow. Keeps this place livable, I guess. Uh... Are these torches really a good idea? Oh, this must be that, like, packed ice stuff. I've seen this in creative, but I've never actually used it. I think this is so dense that it doesn't actually melt. I don't want to make a bad first impression. So what do you guys actually do for fun around here? You are a Fletcher! So if I give you gravel and emeralds, you will make that into flint? Oh, that's actually pretty useful. I probably won't be making use of that, but it does mean that I can actually 100% get flint from gravel for a fee. Alright, you guys, there's another portal in your future. But still, we're pursued. I don't think the ghosts like me sleeping in their house. Ooh, there's more down here. I'll tell you one thing, this is by far the most walkable village we've encountered. Dunwich is pretty walkable, but remember, we had to make it that way. And just don't wander too far out into the snow, guys. I'm gonna need you for stuff. Oh, and look at this view. Such a beautiful landscape, the snow blinding us when the sun reflects off of it. And I imagine the effect is only somewhat diminished in the moonlight. This might be one of the coziest villages we've yet encountered. And they're protected by an iron golem up on a hill, able to see all around, protecting them from the mobs, but not from falling. Oh yeah, I'm going to want more to do with this. I'm going to take patience for now and start heading directly that way, because I think we should be directly above Arkham and, uh, and Dunwich. I think they're all actually in a line, if I'm understanding their position correctly. Cave right there. Yeah, if we can't, uh, if we can't find Arkham, we'll just use that. Is that Arkham? I think it actually might be. See, there's the... No, it's not. Because remember, there's a lake in front of Arkham, unless it's obscured by the trees. Alright, let's just climb a horse down a mountain. That's gotta be the easiest thing in the world. Oh. I think think? I think it is! Oh, it's just a skip away from Arkham! Oh, the series is so cool with how interconnected this is all starting to feel. We went from me swearing to remain on my own to there being almost like a network of communities. Uh, it, it's just so exciting to be able to see like almost a political map of this world. The way everything starts off, these isolated tribes, and it all eventually just unites under the banner of my own evil doing. Well, since we are here, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to allow patients to visit New Dunwich. Oh wait, can a horse actually not go to the nether? Huh. Ooh. Uh, you're not doing a great job at making your escape there. Yep. <laughs> hey, Patience, you want to go laugh at him? Okay, you kind of redeemed yourself in the end there. That was a little bit spooky.
Always disconcerting when I hear you stomping about just as I'm going to sleep. Alright, so here's my new goal for now. We need a nether portal there to make this easier. So I'm gonna ride back there, hitch up patience, and maybe try and get some obsidian. Actually, I could get some from the cave here. I think in the future we'll start exploring the foreign one. Well, ain't this familiar. But what I'm really here for is obsidian. Seems like that shouldn't be too difficult a request to fulfill. And I emerge, now carrying enough obsidian to build ourselves really two nether portals, but we only need one. Look at that morning sun reflecting over the ice. The first episode of the new village is always really awkward because, of course, I don't know what to name it. So, of course, I'm going to be asking you what we should uh, refer to it as. It was kind of difficult because this is kind of like a more snowy mountain village. And Arkham already went to, well, Arkham. Even that was a pretty loose associate. Oh, a horse will sink. A horse will sink. Okay, get out. Let's uh, dig you out. Oh, you're shivering. No, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. There we go. All right. All right. How's your health? Yeah, this is a pickle. This is a pickle. I kind of figured the game would have the common courtesy to make it so that horses don't sink. My mistake. I hear you running around out there. Oh, you rejoicing that I've fallen into a pit? If we go around, okay, this way is the lake. If we go this way, we should avoid it. I think all the deep snow is like more in this direction. Hi. Oh, I took notice of you because you're wearing armor. I always seem to be lucky about not falling into snow when I first go in a certain direction. And then every other time I cannot replicate that success even on purpose. Let's get you up here. Uh, getting you down was easy. Getting up is a bit more complicated. And once more, a village is approached by a fancily clad stranger with a proposal. Oh, look. Their houses even have blast furnaces. I wonder, do they have a chimney? Oh, they actually do! That's kind of cool. Oh, an official use of, like unofficial use of blocks. One of those things that always impresses me in custom maps, but it's weird to see it done in vanilla. All right, we need to start thinking about a spot for our nether portal. Someplace they won't all rush in and end up colonists of the nether. We don't need that many. I think right here on a lonely, empty cliffside is just the perfect spot a beacon to shine over this whole place. Let's do it. Tell you one thing, whenever I arrive, it's always the start of exciting things for a sleepy village. Let's light this candle. I thought there'd maybe be something poetic about the village disappearing behind the igniting nether portal. I didn't derive any meaning from it, but maybe you will. Alright, let's get in here and hope we're not teleported into lava. Oof. Very close. Now we need to figure out which direction we need to head. It shouldn't be all that far. It's just a matter of seeing our location. I'm always kind of eerie when we first show up. And there don't seem to be any mobs spawning. Oh, I really hope the elevation difference doesn't cause any trouble. It shouldn't. Oh. You know, it was eerie, but it wasn't bad. It was actually preferable. Oh, what would actually be really useful is if this is actually what's above the Arkham setup. Because we could build our sky shield this way. Yeah, I think that's got to be Arkham down there. Or, sorry, New Dunwich. 
Yeah, so the elevation difference is actually a factor, but one that works in our favor. Yeah, oh, that is so weird. Oh, whoa! Oof. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wanted to do some commentary, but this is a pretty dangerous situation. Lots of pitfalls everywhere, although I suppose medical attention is not far off. That was so cool, looking over the edge and seeing a totally unnatural color set down there and knowing that it was entirely my own doing. I think that's what I'm deriving... Oh, there you go. That pickaxe lasted way longer than it had any right to, only fitting it when out doing something cool. Uh, my main satisfaction in this series, besides the emergent stories, is just how much I'm affecting my world. Just how much of a difference I'm making. Just how much this has really become something in my image. And all these hapless villagers and mobs, even the ghosts, are just forced to live within it. They try to exert change where they can, but I always just kind of fold it into my plans. And your plans. So, how do we go about doing this? There are no water pillars, because water will instantly evaporate in the nether. Uh, I suppose we do some kind of stair tunnel at first, but that'll only be good for so much. I'm thinking we start chopping down these trees, build a bridge over to that middle layer right there, and from there we'll see about constructing a staircase up to that. Ah, oh, great. A whole squad. Wherever I go, a whole squad shows up. Get in there. Uh, get through. can always actually count on the nether portal to help me out. They can't help themselves, yeah. <laughs> Um, probably gonna have to go explain that to the mountain villagers. Ah, one of you came back. Did you enjoy your experience in the overworld? I sure hope so. Now from here, we are extremely close. Uh, so this is actually a good spot, yeah. I think we've confirmed that you can drop down. This would be a good spot to start building the sky shield, probably in the next episode. You know, I was just thinking, you know, about my own XP mortality, given that I could fall into lava at any time. If I were to, say, place a Skulk Spreader right before death, would it absorb all of my XP and kind of integrate it into the ground via Skulk? Could that be a way of saving my XP from death in a permanent way that goes beyond five minutes? All right, this nether bridge is starting to come together. We now have our stairs leading straight down right to here. And once we can build a staircase there, we will be good. <laughs> ah, you're really, you're really bringing out all the nice tricks in this episode. All the ones that are just a fleeting glimpse before you're gone once more into the wind. Or into the fog, some might say. But I think this Bridge of Souls is looking pretty good. And think of all the gravitas that adds. Everything is way more amazing when it's of souls. Of course, the staircase to this district will have to be strictly restricted, so I'm going to have to put a fence in front of this. And, whoops. And that should be good. Once again, travel made easy. Just because I hate sinking into snow so much. Actually, why don't we just extend this this way? That way we have to limit far less land to the villagers. And I'm the only one that can get in and out. I'm sure I'll probably regret not making this a little bit higher but I'm starting to get sick of so much cobblestone and losing so much of this land since it's so hard to get it. Hey. <laughs> oh, what great timing. <laughs> oh, I startled them out of their sleep. Oh, and one of you has taken a job. What are you? Ah, you're a butcher, probably because we put down the smoker. 
All right, we can get lots and lots of... Ooh, we can actually sell our ham to you. All right, I'm kind of curious to know what kind of concoctions you can concoct. Yeah, some of you actually raised a really good point that it's actually kind of lucky that villagers sleeping in beds didn't seem to cause an explosion. I just hadn't considered that. It's actually a whole thing. I'm actually not sure because the p piglins don't attack them. I don't know if you're actually supposed to be able to get villagers here. I don't know if a village in the nether is something the game's code actually accounts for. But it's all about breaking boundaries. I'm starting to think this sky shield is something that can be accomplished mostly with netherrack. So if we just destroy these little lips here and go like, oops, that. I feel like as long as it's two blocks tall, they shouldn't actually be able to access it, right? That might be wishful thinking. To be honest, I'm actually not 100% sure if they can't just spawn here. So that should prevent things from falling in through that crevice and from right here, but I, I really doubt it's a full solution. Really have to gonna look into it. I honestly don't know if they can't just spawn inside the walls. Which is real, real annoying. Oh, stop it. Two can play at this game. Oh, this is so cool. I really like this thing so much. And it has railings so that we can't be shot off by an errant crossbow. Now let's go see how this village is faring against the locals I sent through. Yep. Oh, wow. There's one of them still alive. Hang on, wait. I want to see you turn. There you go. Oh, yeah, guys, don't worry about that. That's normal. They won't hurt you or nothing. The zombies are actually a lot nicer than their alternatives. Just try and avoid them for the first few seconds after they come through. They're a little cranky. They'll be fine once they've had a Snickers. You know, this might actually be the quickest turnaround on me discovering a village and exposing them to horrors untold. I rarely acknowledge it, but this really does make the clouds look so cool. Something really weird about seeing such realistic ones over this blocky landscape. I don't know, there's sort of a disconnect between these realistic shaders and the actual graphics of the game itself. But it just works somehow. Like I said earlier in the video, it sort of reminds me a little bit of what Lego Island felt like as a kid. Uh, I guess that's what this game is, kind of. Lego Island fully realized. This might be a little bit of a shorter part. I don't know how much I'm going to cut. That's always the case. It's hard to gauge when there's so much construction. You guys are hostile to iron golems. Okay, well, let me help you out. No, it looks like you've got this. Huh. I've never seen zombie pigs become hostile at a glance before. <laughs> nice camouflage, buddy. Ooh, you're actually really weird looking. Are you wearing leather armor? You're all, like, in tatters. Or are you something else altogether? I'm just having a look around. I want to try and find Herobrine's igloo. Uh, because I actually really like it. The way it just sits on the cliff face, the one redstone torch, the only indicator that it's there, blending in. Maybe you want to beat me to it. I think that just about confirms that this is your dwelling. Oh no. Oh, you are a different thing. When you hit me, it gave me an effect. I move slower now. Okay, this is actually real dangerous. You guys started showing up in numbers real fast. Mm, all this delicious XP. Uh, will it be enough to get me to the next level? I want to get some enchantments going. Uh, once again, we're at level 30. Like I've said, I'm actually really irritated by how much the levels are holding me back. It's- oh my god. 
Oh, right. I think it would have been on the other side of this mountain. The one right across from this village, across the canyon. Uh, maybe it would be worth building a bridge here as well. When you think about it, that's kind of most of what I do in this series, isn't it? Build bridges to connect locations together. When you put it like that, it makes my goals seem a lot more benevolent. Please don't mistake it as such. You know, for a second, I thought that meant you turned into a cat. The cool thing about this bridge is that littering is just totally fine. Because it all falls straight down into the lava, so throw over whatever you want. It's actually a perfect garbage disposal solution. Well, Patience, I hope they treated you well. Seems they have. You're in good health. And let's start heading off for home. Now, there is a sizable cave just outside this village. And I think we're going to be exploring it in the next part. Now, I haven't been doing a whole lot of caving lately because I haven't really had much need for materials. But I'll tell you what I do need. I was just talking about how levels have been holding me back in a big way. I need to enchant things. I need to repair things. Which means I never really have a chance to level up. So I'm probably going to take the advice of some of you, something that I've never done in this game before, and look for mob spawners, ah, just for the purpose of building a farm for XP. Huh, that's a pickle you've gotten yourself into. Mind trading? I could actually, oh, hmm. Hmm, that axe is quite expensive. I'm actually just going to have to build my own. Oh, I got so used to the Black Friday deals. That was actually going to be the title for uh, episode 14, was going to be Black Friday. But then I decided I wanted to go with a Lovecraft reference because I wanted, like, you know, extra gravity to the discovery of the ancient city. Alright, how are you doing? Eh, you're still pretty hurt. Maybe we can heal you up faster if we just mercilessly trample this farmer's crops. If there's enough, we need nine, remember. Uh, seven, eight, nine? Don't worry, I'll plant it all back. Of course, I'm not giving you a cut. Also, you know what? I I've seen these compost bins around. What does compost actually do? That's something I should be looking into in the future. Especially since I think I need to step up my harvesting in order to get more emeralds back. There we go, a nice big bale of hay. And that should cause you to heal more quickly. You know, I didn't build this place with the intention of it serving any kind of function. It was really more an act of defiance against nature than anything. But it's actually serving as kind of a valuable hub. For travel, for trade. I mean, think about it. It's right at the center point where we have four nether portals in very close proximity to each other within the nether. We have this one leading to Arkham, the ancient city, Dunwich, and now the new village right over there. It's only Innsmouth that's a little bit more of a hike, but this actually has kind of become, like I said, the hub that connects it all. It's actually the crossroads of the overworld right here in the nether. Also, I am totally still open to renaming it. Uh, it's just that, well, what you wanted to rename it to is a little bit unpronounceable. 
You're smiling. Visibility experiment. If I look through this, that does not count as you being out of sight. Passing behind a horse is you being out of sight, but this is not. Yeah, I knew that would be the case. Kind of weird also. It was daylight when I came in here. But all of you were sleeping soundly. Kind of seems almost like there is a day-night cycle here, but it's a little different from the overworld. Oh, look, you're spawning literally inside the wall. You stop talking to my pets, you. How are you doing health-wise? You're just about perfect, which means I think it's time for us to leave. Come on. Oh, hey, Dunwich is right here. Ah, so it's as I suspected. Dunwich, Arkham, and the New Village are all pretty much in a straight line from each other. That is so cool. All right, well, Patience, you might as well hang around here a little bit. Arrow of Slowness. We must have gotten this from one of the skeletons. I wonder if we can actually apply potions to our arrows. Uh, there's the cleric, now the head of this village, I guess. We finally come full circle and made this place into Alabama for real. Uh, it seems like everybody's kind of going about their business. The population hasn't exactly bounced back. I'll help them do that in the near future. Oh, I love the look of that in the fog from the rain. Beautiful sight. I feel like there's like a scene, at least one scene in every episode now of me just admiring the lighthouse when it comes into view, but I really do enjoy it a lot. There we go. <laughs> Welcomed my arrival by the Skulk Sensors. Oh, they're like a choir that announces when the king arrives via trumpet. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's go have a look at uh, whether the prisoner still remains. Yep. <laughs> you keep them in a boat and they will stay. Kind of wish you didn't have to, but I guess because they're hostile mobs, that's the logic of it, is that they don't stay like pets. I kind of consider them a pet. I consider these my kids now. Hey, hey. Guys, guys, check this out. You know how we can really freak them out? Whenever you want to make them panic, especially in the middle of the night, if you can wake them up this way, just jump into one of these. They'll be thinking, what kind of people are keeping me here? What is up there? And what could eventually come falling down this hole after me? This is going to be more the domain of next episode. But something I really, really like about this tower is how when you're approaching at night, it kind of blends in with the stars against the sky. And it's only when you get closer that you realize those aren't stars. So I was thinking, what if you were approaching this coast, and you think you can see lights, but hovering in the sky? You approach and only then find, no, it's not hovering. That's no moon. And so in the interest of that, I'm thinking what I would like is a skulk coast. We lure mobs over here, kill them in the vicinity of these spreaders, and watch as our coast becomes the deep dark. That, however, will have to be a goal for next time. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to everyone who's donated to the Patreon, and if you would like to do so, that link will be in the description. Seriously, it has been so much more successful than I was expecting, and I cannot thank you guys enough. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.